Kensington Palace has announced that the Duke of Cambridge will visit Israel, Jordan and the occupied Palestinian territories this summer. It will be the first time a member of the royal family has made an official visit to the occupied Palestinian territories and it'll be the most sensitive visit Prince William has ever undertaken. Well, let's talk about this to the royal historian Kate Williams. She's in central London. Good afternoon, Kate. Um, OK, so sensitive for Prince William, but it seems that it would be a sensitive visit for any member of the royal family. Yes, it's correct. And this is exactly why this is the first official visit by Prince William to Israel and the Palestinian occupied territories. Uh, because we've seen unofficial visits. Uh, Prince Charles went to Sean Perez's funeral, but that, and, and the Duke of Gloucester, the Duke Kent, made unofficial visits. But that isn't the same as the full state visit. So the fact is that Prince William is making this full official state visit for future kings. He's going to Israel, to the Palestinian occupied territories, and to Jordan. That is very significant. And it doesn't just seem like a shift in policy, because the, because what we have thought of the line before, there was a, a royal source told us to the Daily Telegraph in 2015, that simply until there was a Middle East peace process uh, for firms up and sorted out, there would be no official royal visit to Israel. But that, that vision obviously now has changed and certainly it has been greeted with a lot of enthusiasm in Israel, but also by the in Palestine as well. Who decides where the royals visit and when? This is at the request of the British government and also the host countries will make invites. So there have been, we understand, uh, it, it is the case there have been unofficial and official invites made from Israel over the years, but these have not been undertaken and they have not been accepted. There are an awful lot of places that take invites to the royal family, after all. But certainly, uh, it is the British government's decision. So it is the British government's decision that Prince William would make this visit uh, to Israel, to the Palestinian occupied territories, and also to Jordan. And it has been Alice Burke who said um, it's going to be fixing up the relations between the two of us, creating a better relationship. And the royals really go there to, they are soft power. They are meant to really create links. We saw it happening in India, we saw it happening in Australia. Create links and uh, trade links, perhaps diplomatic links as well. And so they're, they're, what they do and where they go is very important in terms of signaling uh, where Britain feels is their ally. Kate, why Prince William and not Prince Charles? Well, Prince Charles has, of course, he did go for the funeral of Simon Perez, uh, and then he make a, made a, a visit that wasn't covered to the, uh, the grave of his grandmother, the Duke of Edinburgh's mother, who is buried in East Jerusalem, uh, uh, which is a, a part of, which is not, is not recognised as part of Israel by the UK government. Uh, well, it is simply, I think, for two reasons. I think partly it is because uh, Prince William is being asked and being encouraged to take on a much greater role now that the Queen is stepping down, the Duke of Edinburgh retired last year. The Queen has said that although she's still here and working hard in the United Kingdom, she isn't really making any overseas travel. That was a decision made in 2012. And Charles and Camilla and William and Kate have taken on more of the overseas travel, and particularly more of the long-haul overseas travel has been going to William. And certainly, it, I think it is seen as that William is a very popular member of the royal family, and uh, he is, is very, people are very keen to see him, and he is, of course, will be one day the king. Kate Williams, thank you so much. Thank you.